me take you through it. So the customer, he's getting water. He's getting water right here, where that black nail is. He's getting water through the wall right here. He's getting uh, water in where that nail is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put dirt uh, clay here. Now he is gonna get a new air conditioner, so don't worry about that, just build up the dirt. And you can just, we can raise the pad, it don't matter. He said he's getting a new air conditioner, so I'm not worried about causing a leak. But we gotta bring the dirt up. So where's the dirt coming from? Let me show you. So, We gotta raise these valve covers up. And then we gotta put some wood here and go up with the wood so that we don't put dirt up against the block. Then we're gonna start our French drain right here. We can dig, put the dirt. Dig, put the dirt. You know? Clay, clay, put the clay. So here, we're gonna do wood. Do wood again. So we go under the wood with stone, just a four, three, three inches maybe, stone, no, no pipe. Then we're just gonna start heading through the backyard. We're gonna tie in the downspout and run its pipe all the way down. So now it's just French, French drain, French drain, French drain. Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood, and I'm here to talk about a yard drain system. We're doing yard dewatering in Macomb Township, Michigan. So we dug down to a tap that was existing. Not all of them are like this. Macomb is the only place you'll ever see this. As far as I know, we have to core drill half of them here at Macomb, and the other half have a tap, which saves the uh, homeowner. Uh, a couple bucks that way. So the guys did a really nice job here. It's all clay. Everything's clay. Macomb Township doesn't have any veins of sand or gravel. It's it's clay. I mean, I've been working Macomb. I've been working Macomb 30 years, man, and there's no break from it. And this is the only solution. Is a really good yard drain. So we cut off the sod and we put the sod aside. The original turf grass. So the homeowner is going to get their grass back and we cut it super thick look at that so we get all the root when we do our french drain system we have all that stone and our fabric wrapped we can set this on top and it'll grow the grass will grow over our system now we do do different things pending if it's sprinklers or a lot without sprinklers. So check this out, we're repurposing the dirt. I'm gonna tell you why. We had negative pitch over here and the water was going down. The water was finding the rod holes and they're plugging them, you know, epoxying them. But the fact remains it was a negative pitch. So we're repurposing everything here. So we raised the air conditioner we actually took some 4x4s, the guys did a great job. The original pad is still there. They went ahead and framed in 4x4 treated timbers so that they can go ahead and elevate that. Now, guys, contractors, you never wanna, you never wanna mess with somebody's AC unit because it's guaranteed to leak. So you must tell the homeowner that you're probably gonna have to have an HVAC company come in and find the leak more than likely there's going to be something ironically here the gentleman's buying a brand new ac unit because that one's giving it up so it just worked out so we just lifted on it didn't didn't have to worry about that so look at how nice this is this is not topsoil this is clay this is really really important clay gives you a liner topsoil does not this liner is just gonna let the water run 
right out. I mean, this is beautiful. So look at all this clay. And the guys work this with shovels. They work this with, with their boots. I mean, there's just man hours. I mean, we have a four-man team in here just shaping this and working with this. And it's coming out very nice. It's coming out very nice. So you can see the window wells went ahead with some 4x4 four four treated timbers. We got some stone in there and we got a shallow, very shallow French drain so that we start shallow and come down to the main. We don't want water back feeding and then flooding the basement that way. So there was leaks all down this wall in the basement. It had negative pitch. Super, super flat in here. So we're gonna create slope. We're gonna use the clay to make this incredible liner. Clay is a wonderful material when used properly. The guy's doing a really good job. They went ahead and they raised the bell boxes. They did a fantastic job here, beautiful. They already have that finger. You can see right here, our burrito wrap, very shallow. And then this is gonna be our main, which will be deeper, so that just falls in, and water don't back feed up and flood the window well. So the guys are doing a really, really good job as always. Team of veterans. And we're working some real elastic clay. And I know people hate clay, but you know, truth be told, I do some really cool stuff with clay that I can't do with anything else. And this happens to be one of the things. Repurposing the homeowner's clay. Yeah, you got to charge them for all the work here. I mean, this would have been a lot easier just to dig this clay out and haul it away. No doubt, a lot of less work. But this is what needed to be done here with the negative slope. We needed to get a nice, good clay liner that the water can't penetrate, but have enough pitch away from the house to shed that water away that was going down the basement wall. So instead of spending something ridiculous to have basement waterproofing done, I always say if you take care of the water properly on the outside of the home, in most cases you're not given you're not get, having to get a, a home equity loan for a water a waterproofer to dig down to the footer. I do this all the time. I do all kinds of trick stuff. All I know is my system saves people tens of thousands of dollars because they never have to go to those extremes. All right, so this is very time consuming. A lot of work goes into work and clay and getting the clay to where it's going to lay nice and flat and you got to get the air pockets out you got to get the clay to where it's tight so that water can't penetrate it this clay is going to act like just no no different than a pool liner it's literally like rubber the way water just runs and repels off of it but it is time consuming to take the clay you have to be patient you have to work it it's, it's definitely labor intense to cut the clay up in small pieces so that we can compact it and and we're going to go ahead and do that and you're going to see that in this video how we shape it and it does take a lot of work a lot of man hours but when it's done right there's no better way to waterproof a house Right now the men are working together as a team. There's an air conditioner around the corner of this house and they're working the dirt around it. They raise the air conditioner up and we have 
the air conditioner elevated four inches because we're going to build up all the elevations up close to the house. A minimum of four inches is actually behind the air conditioner we're six inches and we taper down around the air conditioner but this is something that is going to take just time and you have to have you know manpower because unfortunately there's no machine that does this finish work with clay now most landscape companies and most contractors they will just take topsoil and build it up on the side of the house and so will homeowners unknowing that that's not going to repel water you know what's going to happen is that will be permeable and you'll still have the same issues as water will just run down the basement wall and cause you those problems so this clay when it's packed tight with no air pockets and, it, and it's done right there's no better way to waterproof a basement from the outside of the home and just have a positive pitch away from the house with the clay Right now the guys are taking care of the French drain. Once you have positive slope away from the house, where you finally taper it down into the existing grade, usually you're gonna need a French drain right there because that's now gonna be the new low point where water will collect, but it's not up against the house anymore. So that's the important part.
do it. Do it. All right, so we got 100 feet of high octane solid. We got 100 feet of the high octane solid and it's on top of the high octane perforated eight slot. You can see that you always want the perforated pipes on the bottom and you can put your downspout pipe that's solid on the top. The reason why you want to separate the two shingle gravel leaves and debris if you tie this pipe into your French drain pipe will slow and or eventually over time ruin your French drain so to preserve that we're going to keep it isolated from the French drain it's inside the French drain but it is by no means any part of the French drain we're just utilizing this trench because I want to get that storm water a hundred feet away the guys are putting in a blind inlet here because we got sheet water coming off a pool yard over there. So he's inheriting all that because remember, concrete's a non-permeable surface, so you're gonna get sheet water off of it. We always do the FDM Royal Blue Blind Inlets. That way, this homeowner, if he goes to sell it, you, know, you can tell him, you know, French drain crew was here. This is a very, very dry clay lot in Macomb Township, Michigan, because the high octane FDM yard drainage pipe made by the, manufactured by the Boffman Tile Company. There's never been a purpose-built yard drain pipe. It's never been done. What you buy at the box stores there, that's all agricultural pipe, all of it. So what they do is they take something out of their agricultural lineup to fill a void. So it's kind of unfortunate for homeowners that are unaware and what's even sadder they now make cheaper pipe just for the big box stores those companies so that they can basically let home depot have a large profit margin which is what they're after and they only have to pay the manufacturer just a fraction of the cost because it's half the thickness half the material so that's why the pipe's always garbage that's why there's always problems with it and that's why i'm always telling you you want to use a really strong pipe, the strongest single wall pipe ever manufactured in an eight slot or solid is right here. The FDM high octane yard drain pipe manufactured by the Boffman Tile Company. So 
check these guys out, man. They're they're pinning it. They're putting the sod on it. Now the homeowner is going to go ahead and put some topsoil on this, and he's going to seed it and straw it himself. But we went ahead and raised this air conditioner. We got wood timbers under it. We got the window wells. We got a French drain coming out from underneath that window well, so it can't hold any water. Shallow French drain. Man, this work is beautiful here. This is a bunch of boot work, to be honest with you. You're just working the clay down. I mean, you're not going to see work like this too often. There's not many crews out there that can do work like this. This is our veteran crew. This is a really talented crew and a very prideful group. Elite contractors. Uh, I couldn't say enough about them. Not afraid of hard work. Not looking to cut corners because they don't ever want to come back. They just want to move in one direction and that's moving forward. We don't have to backtrack ourselves because something that we did didn't meet up to the ERD watering needs of the homeowner. All right, let's do a walkthrough on this one. The guys did a beautiful job. So these valve boxes to these sprinklers, they were below that window. They were below those glass block, they were so low. So the guys raised the valve boxes and there's things to know about that. Irrigation guys will tell you that. Raised the sprinklers substantially. Built some window wells, went ahead, put some stone. We have a French drain in there that goes to our main French drain, but it's not as deep. I don't want water back feeding and flooding this basement. Now this guy, he was getting water in his basement. It was leaking through the rod holes. Well, he didn't need no exterior waterproofing system. He just needed a, a, a positive pitch. It was a negative pitch, water just laid here. So it was allowed to go down the foundation of the home to the rod holes, just cause him headache, cause him havoc. An interior system, would have cost more than what we did. And now you're taking care of the water the wrong way. You want to get the water away from the house. Don't live with the negative pitch and just get that indoor system that's going to be musty smelling, mildewy. And if the exterior basement wall guys did this, well, they're going to tear up your sprinkler system. They're going to tear up all the grass. They're gonna come in here, make a mess, and say, call your landscaper, call your sprinkler company, call your sod company, and that's just how it goes. Now, we did raise the AC unit ourselves, so we didn't have an HVAC. Um, sometimes we do, 
depending. Some of the bigger houses have a couple big giant units and you know we'll get a hold of their HVAC company and work together. But in this case we just went ahead and we took this clay and we repurposed it to give them positive slope away. Now when you put clay up against a house like this and you pack it tight with no topsoil, let me tell you something, water's not going to end up going down this basement wall. It's not going to happen. It can't. It's impossible. We have nice positive slope away from this house and that clay is the absolute best liner for a job like this. Now, I know that if you're watching our channel, you sub uh, subscribe to our channel and you sh if you're not a subscriber, stick around. We do some cool stuff. We share a lot of things. Uh, we try to, you know, help the young guys out there you know hopefully we can get them doing things right sooner in their career because being an entrepreneur is not easy and the older dudes they're just not like ready to give up you know their best kept secrets but in any case i know clay all our subscribers are dealing with clay they think clay is the enemy they hate clay well, let me tell you something clay can be your friend and here's the perfect example this was the perfect material for this job nice packed clay very elastic sheds water dynamite not permeable i mean this this was the perfect material so we repurposed all the clay and you know a lot of hard work went into this grade guys you know we normally do two jobs in a day so this job was our day for this veteran crew because the you know the time that it adds it would have been so much easier to take this dirt put it in the dump truck haul it away so yeah, contractors, you're charging double for a job like this because there's twice as much work. So the French drain runs right down this property line. We got blind inlets. You can see the blind inlets. This gentleman wanted Macomb to come and watch us hook it up. They know us well and they have a heavy workload. So it really wasn't necessary, but we did it anyway. So there's the 9x9 outlet basin for that downspout up at the corner of the house. I didn't want to dump the water and let it go. Even though our French drain's there, the kids are playing there. So we used 100 feet of the solid high-octane FDM's yard drainage pipe manufactured by the Buffman Tile Company. So we're tied now into the storm drain now the kids the children can play and they don't have to worry about their yard being so wet and and then their dad doesn't have to worry about the water coming in behind the house and down the, on the side of the house and we got our french drain right here because i know when we create this kind of positive slope here becomes the new collection point so we're not even going to have to live that headache because I, I've been there, done that. So just through knowledge and experience, we got that French drain running right down there and it goes down the side, across the back. All right, everybody, it's about that time, man. We're loading up and we're getting out of here. Till the next video.